all welcome everybody to an exhibition that I am very proud to be holding here. It's very difficult these days to get such a body of work by these two very important artists together and we feel very, very fortunate indeed to have brought that together for you. The works here are from the last years of both artists' lives. So, um, interestingly, I think when an artist reaches their last years, they try to distill much of what they've learned up until now into the most um, efficient, powerful um, types of gestures, and you can certainly see that when you walk around this room. Um, the reason I'm proud is that Emily and Minnie probably are the, well, they're definitely the royalty of Aboriginal art. They instigated and they inspired generations and hundreds of other Aboriginal artists to paint their dreamings. So this is a show about Emily Kane from Wari and Minnie Pearl. They were born 30 kilometres from each other in the same year, 1910, and they both went on to become probably the most famous female Aboriginal artists and famous throughout the world. To together they instigated and inspired hundreds of other Aboriginal artists. They began the utopian art movement and they are regarded as the leaders of the utopian art movement. They're very important artists. We're very lucky and proud to be able to open this exhibition today. Uh, a large body of works by the two, which we managed to winkle out of the lead-lined vaults of a private collector. Many of these pieces have never been seen before. As you would know, Emily Nguare's highest price fetch for one of her paintings was over $1 million for Earth's creation. Minnie's highest price, 78000 to date. Both artists are in keen demand, well sought after, and prices continue to rise. These artists are worthy of any collection, and um, if you can afford it, have a good time and buy some.